Fox News alert here. This happened over the weekend, a tragedy in Minnesota. A gunman killing two police officers and a paramedic. They were responding to a domestic abuse call that escalated into a standoff. And this is a story we've heard too many times. Garrett Tenney has the details for us. He's in Chicago. Hi, Garrett. Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. This all started with a 911 call early Sunday morning for domestic abuse, as you mentioned. And when officers arrived at the home in the city of Burnsville, about 16 miles south of Minneapolis, a gunman had barricaded himself inside with a woman and seven children. The youngest of those children was two, the oldest just 15. And police say the gunman was heavily armed with a lot of ammunition. After several hours of negotiations and trying to get the suspect to come out, he started shooting at the officers outside from several areas of the home. Ultimately, three officers were shot. Two of them died, along with a firefighter who was shot and killed while trying to save one of the injured officers. A short time later, the suspect took his own life and the woman and seven children inside escaped without any injuries. The town's police and fire chiefs got emotional talking about the three heroes who lost their lives. We are all hurting. Our officers, our fire department, our families, all of our staff, our community. This is the toughest day that the city of Burnsville and our public safety families ever experienced. Yeah, several hundred officers and firefighters lined the streets outside the medical examiner's office in Minneapolis to pay their respects to their fallen brothers. Officers Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Rouge were both just 27 years old and had joined the Burnsville Police Department in 2017 and 2020, while Adam Finseth was a paramedic and firefighter for the city since 2019 and was just 40 years old. The investigation into this case is ongoing. Police say there is no history of 911 calls for the home where this happened. They have not identified the gunman. They believe they know who he is, but they are waiting for the medical examiner to perform an autopsy and confirm his identity sometime today. Dana. All right, Garrett Tenney, thank you.